So my presentation is about environmental geology. And I'm first going to be talking about the layers of the Earth. So first, this is just a diagram of all of the Earth's layers, um, just a sort of simplified diagram. And I'm going to start by talking about the core, which is at the center of the Earth. And there are two parts or layers of the core, the inner core and the outer core. So, of course, the inner core is the centermost part of the Earth, and it is um, totally solid because of all of, like, the pressure acting on it and everything, and it's made of iron. Um, and the outer core surrounds the inner core, and it is liquid, and it's made up of a combination of iron and magma. And then one layer up from the core, we have the mantle, which is the portion of the Earth in between the core and the crust. And it is made of magma and rock, and some parts of it are like more liquid and some are more solid. Um, and the Earth's mantle has two main layers, the asthenosphere, which is above the outer core, and it's more like liquidy, um, and the lithosphere, which is rigid and is just below the crust. And then that brings us to the crust, which is the outermost layer of Earth, obviously. It's what we walk on every day, um, and it's rigid, and it's made up of rock. So next I want to talk about plate tectonics and plate boundaries. Um, so first of all, what is plate tectonics? It's the theory that the Earth's crust is made up of multiple rigid interacting lithospheric plates that move slowly over the underlying mantle, which causes many types of environmental phenomena, like earthquakes primarily. And Earth has seven major large plates and many more smaller plates. Um, and there are three major types of plate boundaries that I'm going to talk about, and those are convergent plate boundaries, divergent plate boundaries, and transform faults. So first, convergent boundaries. Um, so that's when two plates move towards one another. And these are typically subduction zones. So one plate um, moves beneath the other, usually the one that's less dense. Um, and this uh, creates a trench where one plate has subducted the other. And this can happen with either two oceanic plates or an oceanic plate and a continental plate. Um, and convergent boundaries are destructive because they cause destruction of oceanic lithosphere, um, and they can also result in volcanic activity. And so here is a diagram of an oceanic continental convergence. Um, so you can see in this situation, the oceanic crust is going uh, beneath the continental crust. And that creates a trench. So next are divergent boundaries, and that is the opposite of convergent boundary. So two plates are moving away from one another. And as they move away from one another, a ridge or a rift is formed between them, and that eventually can become a valley. And convergent boundaries are constructive because they create new oceanic lithosphere, um, and they can also cause volcanic activity. So here's my diagram of a divergent boundary um, in the ocean. Um, so you can see them moving apart and also moving up to create that little ridge. And then we have transform faults. Um, which, unlike the other two types of plate boundaries, they aren't moving like towards each other or away from each other. They're sliding past each other, so it's horizontal motion. Um, and they don't have any effect on the amount of lithosphere um, or the topography of the area uh, where the fault occurs, and they don't cause any volcanic activity. They're just basically sliding um, past each other. And this is a little GIF I found, actually, of that happening. And then here is a simplified map of the Earth just showing all the major plates. Um, so you can see like the major big ones like the North American plate, the Eurasian plate, and then some of the smaller ones like the Caribbean plate. And then that brings me to rocks. Um, so just an overview of the Earth's rocks um, and just what rocks are. So a rock is a combination of one or more minerals or mineraloids. Um, and as I said before, the lithosphere is made up of rock, um, and so is the crust. And there are three main types of rock that I'm going to be talking about. 
which are igneous rock, sedimentary rock, and metamorphic rock. Um, so igneous rock is formed by the cooling and solidification of magma or lava, and there are two types of igneous rock, extrusive and intrusive. So the intrusive rocks form from magma that solidifies within the Earth's crust and then um, comes up to the surface. And then extrusive rocks form when magma cools on Earth's surface, so like when a volcano erupts and all the magma and lava um, cools down and solidifies. And uh, this picture is just an example of some types of igneous rock. And then sedimentary rock, um, that forms from the deposition of minerals and organics deposited by water or air on the floor of oceans or other bodies of water. So um, these little like pieces of minerals and organics are deposited and they all sort of like come together and bond and form um, the sedimentary rock. And then a metamorphic rock is a bit different than the others because it is created when there's already existing rock and it's subjected to very high pressure and heat, which causes significant physical and or chemical change. Um, so basically you have an existing rock and then it's, um, yeah, it's like ex subjected to this pressure um, and heat and that causes it to change form and changes chemical structure sometimes. Um, and that can happen with um, sedimentary rock, igneous rock, or existing metamorphic rock. And that is the end of my presentation, so thank you for watching.